Hey guys, it's Kelly and I'm back with another process video. Today's layout, I am using supplies from the September hip kit. And I just have to say, Amy Tan, if you are just, you know, happen to be watching my little video, this is your best collection ever. Not like you would watch it, but just letting you know, you have a fan. This, uh, the cobalt blue is just fantastic. It is so pretty. And, you know, I haven't really seen it in a lot of collections. So when I saw it in this, it was just a nice surprise, that nice pop of color. It doesn't typically scream fall to me, but that's one of the things that's nice about it as well. I tend to not use a lot of theme-based papers or embellishments, and I just, this was just awesome. It just floated my boat. So anyway, I um, knew that I wanted to use one of the cut shop files and it's an alpha that has parts of it cut out. And I will, um, if I can remember, I will link to Ashley Horton's um, cut shop and that was where I purchased this file. And I just decided to take that striped Amy Tangerine paper and cut out little bits and pieces and back the open letters. And it makes it perfect to use, you know, this striped paper. Number one, you know, all the colors are going to go well. Number two, it already has your pattern and, you know, your interest that you already need. So I literally just went across that you know, bottom of the page and just cut out different backings for the letters. And I do cut that out because it's boring to watch. So I knew when I did this page that I wanted to use my gelatos. It had been um, a little bit since I had played and made my entire background. So I knew that I wanted to do this. And I did pull out a sheet of watercolor paper because I knew that with what I had in mind, that I was gonna use a lot of water and I didn't want it to uh, warp or buckle. So I just took gelatos from my stash and lined them up in color so that it would blend together. And many people have done this and I just liked the idea and hadn't used it. And I also left a heavy bit of white space um, for me, my favorite pages tend to have a place where your eye can rest, um, just a little reprieve. So that was why I just did about two thirds of the page. So you can see, you know, if you haven't done a background with gelatos, it is so easy. Um, you know, watercolor paper, scribble, and a paintbrush and put water on top and look at this pretty, pretty color and I go back in, I will clean my brush just a little bit and just blend these colors together. And I even make a boo-boo and I will show you how easy it is to fix the boo-boo. So I decided that I wanted um, a little bit of purple added into it just to give it um, a little pop. It had the purple, I think had a little bit of a metallic sheen and you can see it's really not working out well. So I just take a paper towel and blot it up and then put some more blue down and there it is, it's fixed. That's all you need to do. So I am going to forget that I am on camera and I'm letting my background dry and I'm starting to work on my layers behind my photos. So I'm sorry. Um, in a couple minutes, I do remember what I'm doing and I'll move the background and I'm no longer not at the bottom of the screen. But all I'm doing is taking this hazel and ruby tissue paper. I've seen it at Michael's. Um, it's a big roll that you just, you know, I just unroll a little bit and tear off a piece or cut off a piece and then just kind of work off of that. And it's very thin, and this one has a little bit of a background on it. It's white on white. And I just like it because it adds another layer without adding a lot of thickness. And it just brings a, another form of interest behind, you know, whatever you are using it with. And I just like it behind these photos. 
I have used it quite a bit and I will say that um, it's definitely worth your money, especially if you use a coupon. So I'm just taking the colors that are in that striped paper and backing the photos. And you can see I even flipped it over to make sure that I wasn't or I couldn't salvage one of the pretty flowers on the back of that uh, aqua paper. I love both sides of it. Um, and please, okay, Amy Tan, if you're listening, why oh why do you have to put both of the good sides on one piece of paper? That drives me nuts. I wanna use both of the sides. You know, I mean, that's a good thing, but it's a not so good thing. So anyway, I, um, took out some of the things from the kit that I knew would work. Some of the die cuts, that big wood smile piece is from Crate Wonder Collection. And I really wanted to see if I could get that to work on the layout and I do it a couple of times, but it's just too big. If my braces title wasn't as big, then I probably could have made it work, but I really wanted the emphasis to be on braces since that's obviously what she's having done and I you know smile is easy to get on to another page so I decided just to hold off and I liked the lines aspect um, you know with braces you think lines across the teeth and you know I had lines in the background so I pulled this Amy Tan stencil and just used some light molding paste and did some more lines in a visual triangle and I knew that that would just bring a little bit more interest to the background. So at this point, I'm just playing around. I know that I want my title below my pictures and I know that I want my pictures to overlap slightly. I wanna make sure that white space stays white and I want most everything to be on the color background. So here I am trying to make that smile piece work again and just going through the die cuts to see if I can find anything else. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe I want a little strip of that pattern paper on the edge just to make it finish, to bring it in. And as I'm setting the pattern paper there, I realize that my watercolor paper is just shy of 12 inches. So I just trim it down to um, 11 and a half square and I mount it on a piece of blue cardstock. And that just kind of brings everything in, uh, frames the page. So I love to use doilies, so I pulled out one of my doilies from my stash and put that behind one of her photos. And that Amy Tangerine camera is one of the it's not vellum, but it's the clear acetate piece. And I did not want to see the blue gelato behind it. So I just adhered it to a piece of white cardstock and cut around it. And I like the versatility that those pieces give, you know, to make it either clear or, you know, you can back it with white and, um, you know, make it stand out. So I had like, hot glue gun issues with this. Um, some of the things I didn't stick down, I guess, too well. I you definitely need pressure. The quick dry adhesive doesn't work very well for me on a gelato background. So um, you'll see when I um, go to put this paper on, like my picture falls off and it's easily fixed, just more hot glue. But it was it's definitely something to be mindful of when you are using it um, to know that you've, you know, I've been so used to, to, I guess, just barely placing something down with hot glue and it sticking that um, I just didn't think about that. And you can see the letter um, also wasn't really stuck down. So I'm really liking the way this layout is coming together. It um, was super fun to make and working with a kit sometimes just makes it so easy to put together things that you like. I had briefly thought about stamping and I 
did stamp on the background. I don't know if you saw that little heart behind the picture I just posted, but I had to stamp it with stays on like five or six times to really get the image to come out well. And I just decided that I didn't want to have to mess with it and I didn't want to potentially ruin, you know, stamping on the gelatos. So I left that for another time. And this Amy Tangerine Rub-On was perfect. It brought that little bit of yellow that the camera has on it. So I did pull the yellow up in that upper left hand photo corner or photo, photo cluster as well with that enamel heart. And this is going to be pretty much it. I decide that I want to put time for with braces and I put it on top of the letters but then I leave it because I'm not 100% sure that I like it and I do move it up top that you can see that on the stills and um, I place it on top of the doily. Anyway that does it for me today. Thanks so much and I do have some stills at the end. Take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye.